Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing Ari in Hyelo versus a uh, Yone. Don't really like playing versus Yone, really as any champion, but I guess at least we do have Charm. I think that it's pretty difficult to uh, get rid of both of the jungle and the mid lane, or jungle and the Yone if they ever gank me, because uh, I can only stop one of them. Uh, Rek'Sai is a pretty damn good ganker, and I'm just worried that if I do get ganked, I can only stop one of them from hitting me, so. I wonder if I can even harass this guy or not. I guess we can go for a quick auto. He started with a long sword, so thankfully we can, uh, actually poke him, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to. With Doran Shield, it's way harder to uh, poke people out because they take Doran Shield second wind, so I guess that's one advantage we got. Wow, the minion actually was able to die? That's crazy. Yone Q always feels like it's longer than the asshole Q for some reason to me. So we'll be looking to harass him whenever we can. It's not really the easiest to do. A lot of Yone's play pretty damn far back, so... He's trying to go for a Q, didn't land it. Step away when he uses W back at me so we don't get hit by it. And Ari right now, in my opinion, is like one of the best solo Q mid laners out there. Even though her damage isn't necessarily insane, it's still good enough to the point that with her kit, her pick power and 1v1 potential is huge if you really know what you're doing. So, hopefully I can showcase that. Hmm, Rek'Sai's topside. I wonder if I can help with this. Nah, I'm not gonna keep going. Okay, so we gave up two melees. If the fight for some reason went not inside of these guys' favor, my own team, then I would have been there to maybe uh, salvage it. So that was the goal. I'm okay with how it went, though. Just doing Yone things, pretty classic stuff. Pike is here, but I really don't think that we can get him. Oh, actually, we can, wow. Except for I die because I don't level up, which is like so unfortunate. I really thought I would level up from getting the kill. This also heals me as well, so it would have been an absolutely insane play. Also, it was really well played by Pike. His stun landed even though the Yone queued away. <laughs> so. I mean, the reason why I thought that we were not going to be able to get him is because he had Q prep, so he has that dash available, so I thought he was gone for sure. Guess not, though. My wave is in a pretty decent spot. I'm not going to uh, do whatever that guy's going for. I'm a little bit worried about just being camped, so I'm not really going to do anything too nuts. I use Charm on the wave, trying to freeze. Go for Rek'Sai, that guy is dead. Now we go for Yone, farm that guy. Oh man, I think the game... <laughs> The thing is that I wonder why they went for the 3v3. Because the thing is that we just hard win. Because there's a few factors there. Firstly, I think that just our champions in general are easier to play than theirs. Uh, in the 3v3. But there's like other massive factors. Like, for instance, Rek'Sai... Not Rek'Sai. Uh, Rakan used his W to jump away so then he doesn't have it. So then his only engage... 
isn't even possible anymore. So I'm just confused about why they wanted to take it just out of pure tilt, I guess. High elo is weird. Some people think that high elo is like an insane elo where everybody plays perfect, but you'd be shocked at how many times people make like these massive mistakes that just don't really make much sense to me. He juked into it, thankfully, so we can get a decent trade off. Wait, that actually landed? I didn't think I was going to land that Q, so that's why I didn't continue going. Maybe I actually could have went under tower to kill. Dang, dude. Maybe that was a waste. That sucks. Well, oh well, I guess. Rek'Sai is bought. We should be okay mid, I believe, unless I, like, get severely outplayed. He's going to reach 6, then he has his ultimate. Probably dead because I took a tower shot. But at least we're giving them a little bit of a game back, right? I shouldn't have used my W, I suppose, because that actually made me die. I was hoping to just sidestep it. But my mechanics aren't what they used to be. I'm too old. We're going to be building Everfrost into probably a uh, Zhonya's this game. The thing is, Ari just builds a bunch of defensive items. That's what most pros are doing, so that's what I'm going to do too. You just build Everfrost, and then you can just look for charms. Of course, you can build like Deathcap later, because Ari does lack damage, uh, even when she's fed. One of her biggest struggles is just not feeling like you ever have damage in your kit. So, I'm going to get the plate. Got it. Where is Rek'Sai? Hmm. I feel like he, like, missed everything. I dodged every single Q, didn't I? But I still lost the trade. I guess that's just Yone things, huh? I'm just going to go for the wave. I'm not really going for him. Oh, Rek'Sai's bot. Let's rotate bot. Maybe I can clean this? Nah, it's probably not cleanable, actually. I'm not going to be able to uh, catch that guy, so we're just going to let him go. What I did is that Rek'Sai has that tremor sense, so he can actually see uh, people collapsing. So I decided to let them start the camp, because then they're unburrowed, so it's going to be harder for them to look for me. I really doubt that they would look for me. I don't think that they have enough damage to kill me, even if they land everything. Although Ezreal didn't go mid to collect the wave. I was just going to fix his own wave, because that's normally what we do, but... I guess that's not going to be the case this game. Okay, well, Zack and Pike were able to collect it. I have my Everfrost, too, which is huge, so I can look for a charm into... Wait, let me quickly look up... People normally go sword. I mean, some people go Ionian. I'm going to go Ionian. I think it's not bad. Ari has true damage in her kit, lower cooldowns. The true damage is from the backswing of the Q. Wait, what? <laughs> Boy, how, how is that even possible? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. I don't have my ultimate for 20, so if my team gets into a skirmish, it's pretty bad, but just because, like, I'm less useful than usual. Damn, he took so many turret shots there. Holy crap. I 
I was worried about his all in because Yone can do some nut stuff with his damage, so I was just a bit worried. Dang, I was hoping for the W hit at least. Wasn't able to hit it. I feel like Rek'Sai is probably gonna. Okay, Rek'Sai bought. If I continue playing aggressive, eventually they do come mid, so. That's so lame that my charm actually landed. It didn't look like it would. If I landed the Q, maybe I could have just immediately all in. No jukes, dude. People who don't juke are so difficult to... Oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna die to the last W. I'm so sad. I always expect people to hard juke my abilities, so... I threw the charm expecting him to sidestep it, but he just ran in a straight line, which is the best counterplay to me. Because... I always expect people to juke it inside of Hilo. At least I can TP back mid. But I don't know if we're going to be able to catch him or anything. Yone is Yone at the end of the day. Should have been able to get a solo kill under tower. Just needed to land that one Q. But it's been a while since I played Ari. I don't really like playing this champion that much because I think that it gets kind of boring if I spam her, so... I'm out of practice. I'm gonna rotate to this. The saddest part is just being under-leveled. I wish I wasn't under-leveled. And it's going to go for Wave Player. Not going to really go for much besides, like, random poke on Q. That's about it. Now I'll just rotate top. He's dead. Well, at least I can collect the wave. And then Zack hopefully can defend mid. Zack kind of losing. This guy's probably gone. Don't think we're gonna be able to catch him, right? That was actually way closer than it needed to be. Just the damage is completely through the roof. Too bad I wasn't able to get Rek'Sai with the Q Everfrost too. He was so damn low. The thing is that he ran away so fast, the Rek'Sai, so I decided to swap focus to the Yone. Maybe I can take the tower, though. I'm worried about them going for me. If anybody's here. Looks like no, though. I'm just gonna run. I got what I wanted, which is the tower. Decent amount of gold for myself. My team's looking topside. Nice hit. Cannon's probably dead. Pike wasn't able to secure the ultimate, though, so we didn't get any bonus gold, sadly. Pop my potion inside of uh, base. So the goal will be just use ultimate whenever I can when I have a teammate nearby and land charm. And then just have them follow it up. That's literally it at this point. It's not really that complicated. It just depends on numbers advantage. 
Ezreal's dead, probably. I'm just assuming. Normally, Yone can chase people down pretty easily. What? He killed Yone? Did she... I think Yone didn't have Shield Bow then. Because that's the only reason why I could ever imagine him dying. Because Shield Bow should save him. Wow, that's incredible that he actually won. Well, we're doing Rift right now, so I don't really need to do anything too special. I'm wondering if I can, like, get Regside to jump on me. I don't think I get one shot. And if they do, then I have my teammates nearby. Ezreal's probably dead now. If he gets hit by Rex IQ, the Rex IQ will just ultimate. Oh. But they dodged it. Well played. Nah, they're still dead. I think Rex IQ knows where I'm at. Yeah, this just seems dumb. I don't know why he went for that, but all right. We have to go for Zeri here. Okay, well, she flashed out, so never mind on that one. I have Zanya still. Please, I tried so hard to make it so I wouldn't die. Well, I did my job, which is they go for me. I stall time. I land decent charms that are important. I'm pretty sure I landed one on Zeri, landed one on Kennen, stalled Kennen ultimate. Zack doing his own thing of just spamming his keys and killing everybody because Zack is ridiculous when he gets ahead. What's everybody's KP? 9, 12, 11, 9. Yeah, I mean, I've been part of a lot of kills, I guess. For next item, probably Death Cap. Although, it would be kind of fun to go, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go Death Cap, actually. Never mind. I was going to go maybe Cosmic Drive for big CDR because having low cooldown on your W and your uh, Charm just gives you huge outplay opportunities because you can run around really quickly with the W spam. And that's why you max it second so you can just outplay people. Oh dang, Zach got it with the thing. He didn't mean to though. It's, it's alright. land charm on him just kill him with w or zach gets it doesn't really matter to me i guess i i still have more kills than him even after that i'm gonna go buy my needless now I don't know what happened to Pike. I guess he instantly died. I was hoping Pike would get the reset off, but he didn't get anything. GP doesn't have TP either. If I Zhonya the Recon ultimate, maybe that would have stalled. I thought the fight would be so good because they jumped on Zac, but everybody lived with 1 HP and... Ezreal also died immediately. So something happened that I didn't see where Pike and Ezreal basically insta-died while the rest of their team is alive, so kind of makes sense why we lost. We need everybody to be alive for a little bit longer to be able to win team fights. 
Can't have people getting one shot. It was a 4v4 because uh, our GP wasn't there and Kenan was dead because we just recently killed him. If we ever want to 1v1 this Yone, it's going to take like seven rotations of spells to probably kill him, sadly. So it's going to take forever. I also don't have Zhonya's for a bit. I'm rotating over to see if I can get a pick because it looks like a fight was breaking out. I guess I could have saved walking over and use TP though instead and just continue shoving bot. I'm going to Q this. They are going to rotate. Hmm. Okay, we got it already, so it's pretty chill. No way I got hit by that. Okay, I'm actually okay though. Nice. Please tell me I don't die to Zeri. Thank god. I'm just going to TP bot. Let's keep up the pressure immediately. We're not going to be probably using this that much any anyways. After that fight. There's no possible way that Yone would have ultimate backup faster than my ultimate. He's also topside. So we'll just shove it out. Okay, we got his proto bell. Fix the wave. Holy crap, cannon damage is so insane. Did he really just do that from 100% HP on our pike? They can't contest. So they're going to hard engage mid because they see me. Did my team respect it? Not really, no. I mean, the worst part is that we saw them. I really don't want to use my ultimate. Nice. Good Everfrost. I want to save my ultimate to look for another pick, but... I guess they already FF, so GG. So yeah, Ari mid lane, pretty damn good inside of Hyalo. Probably the best pick. There's a reason why a lot of players are spamming the hell out of this champion. She just has too much safety, still good 1v1. Like, you don't even need a crazy scoreline. There's plenty of things that I could have done better, but she's just like probably the most well-rounded mid lane pick right now. Whenever I look at like, uh, like for instance, um, there's a pro player that's really good in NA. Maybe he is the best mid laner in NA called Jojo Pyeon. And uh, he is currently boot camping in Korea. And he, a NA player, uh, is currently... I saw a Reddit post on it. He's top 20. I looked up his account uh, just to look at it. And uh, he plays Lissandra, Ari, and like Jace. And it's basically just those three champions on repeat. Um, because they're just so damn good inside a solo queue. If you just spam the hell out of them, you don't need crazy score lines. All you need to do is just play the champion somewhat well, and you just get handed free wins, basically. Um, of course, the reason why you can win so much on her as well is just crazy good picks. I didn't really need to that game, but sometimes you don't need to be the carry to just win a game for free. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all inside of the next commentary.